Hello everyone. We will continue with the we will continue from the fourth window now. In the previous video, we finished up to third window. Now we will move on to fourth window. If we will see the fourth window. In the fourth window, I want to display order date, value of order date, payment mode, value of payment mode, total amount, value of total amount, currency and value of currency. Now, in this particular case, header data, we have a static data or fixed data. We want to display two rows and each and every row we have four columns. So whenever you have fixed number of rows and columns or whenever you want to display fixed data or static data, we covered, we always, always have to create a template. So inside the fourth window, we will create a template. So I will go to the fourth window and I will create a template. I will right click on the fourth window, create template. Now, same to same template dimension can never exceed the window dimension. It means we will go for, we will check the width and height of the window. And based upon that, we will decide the dimensions of the template. I will click on to the window. Window has a width of 10. It means template has a width of 10 or less than 10. Template has a height of two. It means a window has a height of four. It means template height is four or less than four. We will check now. I will go to template. I will click on to template details. Window has a width of 10. Suppose I am taking template width as also 10. In this 10 centimeter width in this 10 centimeter width i want to accommodate four columns i want to accommodate four columns in a row we have four columns then what is the width of individual column it is 2.50 2.50 centimeter 2.50 centimeter 2,50 centimeter, 2,50 centimeter. Now, window has a height of four. Window has a height of four. It means template height will be equal to four or less than four. In this four centimeter height, I want to accommodate two rows. It means what is the height of individual row? It is two centimeter. How I will give? This is the important understanding. Your starting row is one. Your ending row is two. And what is the height of individual row? It is two centimeter. So two into two, four. This is the mistake which many people will do the mistake here. They will put four here. But in that case, what will happen? Four plus four will become eight. No, your window has a height of only four. It means template will be equal to template height will equal to four or less than four. And in this four centimeter height, we want to accommodate two rows. It means the height of individual row is two centimeter. If you still have the confusion, 
you always always check the individual syntax i can check the syntax of the template also if we did some mistake in the dimensions it will give the error here itself if i will check the syntax it is saying definition is correct it means everything is correct if you will do some mistake in giving the width and height you will get the error here itself now we will create total eight text in the template one two three four five six seven eight we will create total eight text in this template i will right click on the text create right click on the template create text create text i will create total eight text fourth text fifth text sixth seventh and eighth text always always provide the description because it will make your task easy i will save this i will go to first text first text is order date next text will be value of order date next text will be payment mode next text will be value of payment mode next text will be total amount next text will be value of total amount next text currency and next text will be value of currency now i will give the row and column to each and every text i will click on to first text output options order date first row first column first row first column value of order date first row second column first row second column payment mode first row third column value of payment mode first row fourth column now total amount total amount it is second row first column value of total amount it is total amount i'll change in the layout also value of total amount is second row second column currency will be second row third column and value of currency will be second row fourth column now i will give the labels also in each and every text i will firstly go to first row first column text i will go to journal attributes text editor go to change editor and i want to print order date first row first column text done i will not do anything for first row second text because it is the value value require a logic we will do all the logic things at the last i will come on to payment mode 
first row third column part first row third text go to change editor it is my payment mode back i will not do anything with the value of payment mode i will go to total amount text editor go to change editor total amount back i will not do anything with the value of total amount i will go to currency go to change editor and i will pass the currency values part we will do together at the last now fourth window part is done i will now go to fifth window in the fifth window i only want to display the label item details so i'll simply create a text in the fifth window editor text editor go to change editor now i will pass item details now what we learned in this video firstly i will say what we learned in this video we created a template for the inside the fourth window and we gave row and columns to each and every text and similarly we created a text inside the fifth window sixth window part we will do in the next video thank you